Hello to everybody. My name is Maria Zaric. Je m'appelle Maria Zaric. I will talk about the creation of small business websites from scratch in WordPress. My process. L'aventure commence or the adventure begins. As a great open source enthusiast, I have been creating free HTML5 themes and bootstrap themes within a decade. And I love to be a part of that community where we can all learn, share, contribute, evolve, respect, and have fun. Most of my clients and my long-term collaborators have found me via these free teams of mine. And some of them wanted a small uh, business websites uh, from scratch in WordPress based on these themes. Open source powers the future of innovations and the local communities. How? With local communities, very simple. Through education, because education is a vital key to human progress. Education should be constantly striving toward toward new discoveries. There is a great quote in my city with the words, we have great street art, with the great words, create together for tomorrow. That is actually what we're doing when being open. We are creating together for tomorrow, all of us. Web is built on open source by wonderful altruistic people. Thank you for being open, humble, curious and enthusiastic. My process consists of a couple of steps. Listen, discover, concept, designing in the browser, testing, WordPress. The first step is listen. Communication skills are crucial, aren't they? In this step, you will find out how many pages the client wants to, what are their design requirements, what is the budget, what is the final deadline, to whether they prepare the content for the website, because if they didn't, never send them a lorem ipsum text in the design. Instead of lorem ipsum text, find some quotes, find some favorite quotes of yours that you have about traveling, uh, uh, reading, knowledge, creativity, and put it inside the page to see how it fits inside that structure of the same page. I always do that. Most of my clients who had the knowledge of WordPress admin panel, wanted to update the website by themselves, of course. Others wanted me to update the website. Um, some of my clients needed a short explanation of how to update the content by themselves in WordPress admin. Overall, good communication skills and collaboration are the most important. It's all very kinetic, energetic. <laughs> okay. The second step is discover. Discover or researching, depending on the type of the project and the client's requirements. It could be finding a new responsive framework, uh, new design inspiration, some new functionality, new code, a great color palette, cool typography. In this step, I really always uh, learn something because learning should be a lifelong endeavor, not just your current priority. After the first two steps, I create a concept of the website in my mind without any kind of mockups. After I get the idea of what the client wants, I start creating it in my mind with all the updates, uh, uh, design uh, functionalities and so on. Um, free photo editing software that I use instead of Photoshop is photopia.com. It's really, really great for images. A great uh, software that I use for the creation of the websites is Dreamweaver. So I open Dreamweaver and I go straight into HTML and CSS because coding is fun. Coding is fun, really. Um, grasp the unknown and create poetry because code is poetry. And please save the forests wherever you can plant a tree. So the next step is designing in the browser. Designing in the browser as the next step means seeing the design in the browser as soon as possible. As soon as possible, see the design in the surrounding in which it will work. So I sent to the client index HTML page uh, via 
my website or via their website, depending on how we agree. I create a folder test inside a test folder. I have all the, 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 the pages and I send these pages via this link to the clients. And only they can see that, of course. Um, advantages of the designing in the browser. Design should be in the browser, okay? You can easily show changes without having to alter the entire page. Design will be accurate 90, 90%. Um, you will be much faster and you will cut the development time. Isn't that the goal of, of is, isn't it the goal of the whole process to, to cut the development time to be much faster? Overall, overall, what is essential is that your clients will have a better understanding of the design and then everything will be quite groovy. Excellent. Everybody will be happy. Um, after a couple of days of reviewing the homepage, I start working on inner pages as well. Within a week, I have a couple of pages already, already made. Web designer is somebody who knows how to code and loves the design. And editing belts, groovy. Uh -huh. Now, um, responsive frameworks. I started using Bootstrap since 2014, and I never stopped, definitely. I used uh, other frameworks from responsive to foundation, depending on what the client wanted, but I continued eternally with Bootstrap. So for all of you out there, thank you again for uh, uh, watching. Thank you for listening. It's really uh, always, I, I must say, uh, uh, it's kind of awkward to, to you know, record yourself in the room and you know the people are watching you out there. Um, it's awkward. But anyway, um, it's better always offline, but it's okay. And online too. I have to sit. I, 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 it, it's crazy to imagine you to, you to sit and not to see people. But for all of you out there again, um, feel free to download free bootstrap teams of mine via this link, mariazaj.com slash work slash. Um, there are a couple of them and they're ranging from one page hair salon team, one page minimalist team, simple studio creative agency team, cat shelter team, and so on and so on. So feel free to download one, two, three, or all of them for your future projects, or at least uh, for learning HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, or, or to, to make them into Bootstrap teams, Bootstrap websites, or to make them into WordPress uh, teams or a small business website from scratch in WordPress. Download and enjoy. Now, uh, testing and testing. The next step is testing. Testing consists of a couple of ways. Online emulators, real devices, or local stores. With online emulators, you can, um, I mean, um, there, there, there are lots of online emulators. I, I would say that with them, you can test on the vast range of devices very, very quickly. Um, I cannot remember online, but, you know, just go into the Google and test, just put online emulators and that is it. With real devices, you can find all the bugs. Um, yeah, all the bugs. I really love this. Uh, 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 real bugs in the parks, in, in the city everywhere. I'd love to record them. Local stores. Uh, at the beginning uh, of learning Bootstrap, I went to the local stores because they have thousands of millions of the devices and I could test it on all these devices and see where is the issue and so on. But, uh, now I do it uh, very rarely. Uh, the, the clients usually have uh, lots of devices. And then um, if you have an issue, the client says, Maria, we have in this device, I never heard of that device, we have this in that issue. I open Dreamweaver, I go into CSS, into media queries and fix the issue just for that resolution for that device. Um, and everything is fine, really. You just get into the code and work, design in the browser, all right. Um, love the bugs. 
Love the code, love the design, love PHP, love WordPress, love your cooperation with the clients, love it all. And finally, after we agree that everything is fine with the website, I start creating files for WordPress. These are all the files that you need for a small business website in WordPress from scratch. And it is index.php, that is for the home WordPress page. Page.php, it is for all inner WordPress pages. Header PHP consists of everything that you want to see at the top of the website. Footer PHP, it is for everything that you want to see at the bottom of the website. And style CSS, CSS for the design of the page. All right. So we have index PHP, page PHP, header PHP, footer PHP, and style CSS. Don't complicate things when you're creating a small business website from scratch. These are all the files that you need. Now, I will go through two screenshots of index PHP and page PHP to see what it consists of. This is index PHP. Okay, let's see what it consists of. It starts with PHP template name home. It's very important to put this template name home. You'll see very fast why. We have PHP get header. It calls header PHP. We have PHP while have posts the post, PHP the content, PHP and why. PHP the content is for the main content for the page. Actually, this whole loop is for the main content for the WordPress home page. With this loop, you're giving the possibility to the client to update the content by themselves. Very simple. PHP get footer, it calls footer PHP everything that you want to see at the bottom of the website. And body HTML, it is closing of the whole page. That is all for index PHP, for home WordPress page. Now we go to page PHP. It is for all inner WordPress pages. We have here PHP template name page. You should put that template name page. You will, uh, you will know very soon why is that. It's all the same. This whole script is the same in index PHP in page PHP, except in index PHP we have template name home. Here we have template name page. But I'll go through it again. Now we have page PHP uh, get header. It calls header PHP. We have the same loop uh, that is for the main content for WordPress inner pages. Get footer footer PHP. It calls body HTML finishing of the whole page. Very, very simple. Yes. Now, I installed the WordPress. Here's the installation of the WordPress. Very short. I'll read it. Download the latest version of WordPress. Unzip the file and upload it to the public HTML or similar directory. Create my SQL, my SQL, SQL, SQL database and user. Configure the PHP file and run the WordPress install. Uh, the installation is very, very easy. And after I install the WordPress, I activate the team and I start the creation of WordPress pages in WordPress admin panel. I'll uh, show you two screenshots on my own website that I created from scratch, just as an example. So I get into WordPress admin panel and I start creating the page. At the top, you see the page name home. At the bottom, on the right side, you have template. What did we have there? Home. That is, that calls index PHP. That is that template name that I put home and it calls that page. So that calls index PHP for the home page. On the left side, I put the main content from HTML page, index HTML to WordPress page. And that is all. I also took uh, uh, all the images from my computer to media library. I put the images that I want into home WordPress page, and that is it. So behind this main content lies that loop, PHP loop, with the content that you know gives it, gives you the possibility uh, to update the content by yourself or for the client to update the content by themselves. 
very, very easy. Let's go to, through another uh, uh, stage, inner page. Okay, uh, page name bio. At the bottom template, there is page that calls page PHP. On the left side, I also put the main content from bio HTML to WordPress page. And that is it. You can update the content by yourself. The client can update the content by themselves and so on. For example, you're creating the services page put for the client. Page name, services, template, page. That goes page, page, page. On the left side, you put the main content from services HTML to services WordPress page and the client can update it by themselves. Most of my clients wanted to update the main content, something from homepage, about us page, services, contact. contact. Um, when you create a news page, you can make it as a blog, but I, okay, I, I very frequently created it as a page. So you put page name news, template page. On the left side, you put all the main content from news HTML, the WordPress page, and the client can update it from time to time with their own latest news and updates. It's all the same with other pages. As you can see, it's very simple to create a small business website from scratch. When we talk about plugins, I usually uh, used uh, one plugin. When the plugin is updated, um, there, there are no problems at all. Um, I uh, automatically updated the WordPress and nothing you know, wrong could happen because with a small business website from scratch, you're controlling uh, the whole uh, code, everything. You know what could happen. You know, when you're creating a WordPress, um, when using the WordPress teams with the lots of functionality, something can go wrong. You don't know what is happening, but that is, uh, if you're a you know, WordPress developer, you will know that. Uh, web designer, this is enough for the web designer to know how to code, to design, and to create small business website from scratch like this in WordPress. That could be enough. All right, um, now. I hope this is all clear, really. What is very important, people, is to simplify your process, to make the easiness of your process, to make it more effective and productive. Uh, one thing, you can just imagine. We can just imagine. Oh, no, please don't imagine. Start doing it. Um, download some free team of mine and start going through this whole process. Try it if you haven't already. Please simplify. Um, and now, all of your finished finished project projects uh, should be recycled as the templates for the future projects. So you took something of mine, you finished it, you finished it for uh, the client's requirements, and now you leave it like that. No, use it for your future project. Other clients contacted you and says they want something. You open Dreamweaver or any other software that you use, go into HTML, CSS, update it according to the client's requirements and recycle it. Every, you know, like every finished project recycled for the future. Please don't, 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 don't start from zero, you know, open some software and start from zero and, H, any, and HTML and CSS and, and so on and so on. Don't, don't again, complicate stuff. Start from something. Regarding to HTML and CSS and Bootstrap, start from something, some uh, a finished uh, theme of yours, some finished project of yours. And the whole goal uh, is to, to, to make easiness of the whole process, not to complicate things. I've seen how people complicate things. Don't do it, please. Um, uh, et maintenant, Pot de Francais, and now a little bit of French. I have been learning the French language in my primary and in my high school. In my primary school, my teacher, she was obsessed with the verbs, prendre, venir, and so on. I had to know, I mean, we all had to know the present tense, prendre, venir, voir, and so on, and we knew it all. Um, in my city, in, in, in a high school, my professor wanted all of us to, to, to uh, 
speak French, which was very difficult, very, very, very difficult, very difficult. Uh, it, it was, um, um, you know, um, it was interesting, but uh, to speak a little bit, but we had, I must say, the wrong education from primary school. We didn't talk in French in primary, so I couldn't talk in high school, but I know a little bit of it. Um, um, as a great fan of uh, sticker art and as a sticker artist uh, myself, I have found this great, great, uh, profound thought in uh, the city, um, in a couple of places, which exist. It's a very philosophic, philosophic uh, thought, which exist, uh, I exist. We could talk about it, really, very philosophical thought. People should connect um, with sticker, with sticker art uh, in a personal, intellectual, and creative way. Um, I will finish it by saying nothing is impossible. Believe in these words. Um, these are very motivated words. Motivating, motivated. Um, therefore, uh, stay, stay motivated. Uh, be inspired. Uh, be be awakened. Learn, share, evolve, grow, respect, and have fun. Thank you again. Merci beaucoup.